I thought this was really cool. So Hasselblad is coming out with uh, the, the widest medium format lens ever. It's a 45 millimeter um, F4 lens. So um, it should so be... So what does a, that come out to? Like I think it would be like, about uh, 2.8. So, But what, like what focal... It's, so it's like a 35 millimeter? I'm trying to think. So 45 would be... Yeah, like 35. Like a 35 -ish. Like a, a little bit longer, I think. I'm trying to... Somewhere between 35 and... 45. Well, no, I think it's so, a 35. So a 55 on medium on these medium format sensors is 43 millimeters. Someone has the same sensor as the GFX and the... Uh... Okay, yeah, actually, yeah, 45 is... Because I shot the GFX 45 millimeter, and it was, no, was pretty 35. much 35. Yeah, I had that yeah. lens, too, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you should yours. know this. No, yeah. So, yeah, I think but, it's a 35. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be... I mean, that would be yeah. 35, and it's yeah. an F4, so a 2.8, you say, Boca equivalent. I mean, that's what you need. Yeah, I, I love the way pancake. this... Yeah, this lens is really beautiful too. I was looking at, at these pictures right here, and uh, I mean, it's yeah. not a Hasselblad. I mean, it should be yeah. pretty nice. I think the the Hasselblad is a pretty cool looking camera, and just having yeah. a if if I owned a Hasselblad uh, X one D, like I think it's like probably the most like sleek looking camera yeah, like it's this. A cool camera. Like like the X one D and the and Leicas are probably the most aesthetically pleasing cameras and out there. And probably right now. like the most world like known like most. You know what I mean? Like most people know, like most like uh, yeah, um, Hasselblad, like renowned, most kind like of. famous uh, yeah, camera exactly. brands. Yeah, I mean Hasselblad went to the moon. Yeah, we'll never forget about that. Yeah, for sure. I, if and I had like a ton many, of extra cash and I was looking to have another medium format system, I'd probably jump on board with that. I think that camera is really cool. Looking. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I know the sensor works. Yeah, I guess the the downside is the the. I mean, of course, it's always going to be with these X one Ds. Like as of right now, it's going to be the contrast based uh, AF systems. But right, you, that's the kind yeah. of the Achilles heel on those systems. Is like the autofocus on it isn't super fast and it's not super accurate. Yeah, yeah. With the GFX, I had you know issues focusing in backlight and stuff. Backlight and low light. And low light and yeah, I, I just ended up shooting manual focus all the time on the Especially, GFX. Especially like I had on the GFX, yeah. I had the one ten, which was like the eighty five, the one ten f two, which yeah. was like the eighty five equivalent, and no, that thing was focus. a beast to sort of move all those lenses around and stuff, and it was yeah. focusing and hunting. Uh, it was just frustrating to use. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, going to test it out, and um, in any backlight, like with like the sixty three millimeter, it didn't really matter which lens you had on there. Um, it would really seem like it was in focus on the in the EVF and stuff, and then you get home and like half of your photos were like out of focus. But yeah, same auto focus once, system. Uh, once it gets to more like the point where these these sensors can do face detection well, like. Yeah, yeah, they just need face use detection. Them for sports and stuff. Like, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and the in the uh, GFX 100, that thing finally has uh, face, yeah, detection. Some face so detection. So that's a what, like fifteen thousand dollar camera though. So yeah, that's a pricey. Machine. Yeah, but that's gonna just make it cheaper. Like as a yeah, yeah, eventually more and more yeah, available. It'll, it'll come down and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it'll still like now. the X1D with um, a nice uh, 320 gram uh, medium format, 45 millimeters sounds like like really fun to shoot. Like I if mean, you're if you're a travel guy, that would be yeah, killer. yeah, killer. for sure. Yeah, really beautiful setup. Um, it's gonna look really cool. It's gonna you uh, be really light. You could just yeah. shoot that one lens. That's oh, like, for you sure. Just have that one camera. Yeah, yeah, really beautiful in these photos. So, yeah, yeah um, cool. Yeah. I don't know. Do you wish? Do you wish more uh, more camera manufacturers would pay more attention to aesthetics? Or I feel like they they do, but it's like they feel like that's the aesthetic of, of what they made in the past and what their consumers want and stuff. I feel like they really do. Yeah. Like, even Canon, like when they made the DSLR style, they hired like some like crazy Italian designer or something to make it all sleek huh. and stuff. And now we think of it as kind of like being yeah sort of boring it's, it's like yeah. the beige of photography cameras you know? i think of like uh like canon dslrs and they've kind of been the same since like the eos one like they don't look that much yeah, different. when they came out like they were yeah. thought of as really sleek and beautiful were they? and new and stuff because hmm. it was like a way different design but now yeah. you look at it and you're like eh, yeah that's i feel played. like yeah so, uh, too many buttons else. on a lot of cameras um too too much sort of unnecessary styling sometimes yeah. um and yeah, I mean, I think just like Leica and Hasselblad are just kind of the, the cameras to go with if you just want a really beautiful camera. But and you just don't yeah. have any kind of budget constraints. I mean, if you look at realistic budget constraints, yeah. though, and you start comparing it, you realize that maybe I yeah. mean, you don't have a Hasselblad or a Leica. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, the reason I don't have a Hasselblad or a Leica is because I, I mean, I throw my cameras around all the time. Yeah, and, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. there's other things that go into play than just how beautiful a camera is or how great its pictures are. Like, there's some practicality too. 
yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. But uh, the people that are shooting the Hasselblad Pro system like that are either really rich or they're really pro. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I just wish uh, other camera manufacturers would make things a little bit prettier, but that's, uh, that's me. I like... Um, <laughs> Well, that's because, uh, I mean, I like the way my Fuji cameras look. I think they're pretty. I don't feel like that, mm. that like, they compromise too much from what I want it to look like. I look at my cameras like, oh, man, my cameras are so cool looking. Mm. I never feel like it's aesthetically disappointing to me. But it's a throwback to old styles that everybody still loves. It makes you nostalgic when you look at a Fuji camera, you know? Yeah. I mean, I still feel like like uh, Hasselblad and Leica are more beautiful than a Fuji. Oh. I mean, it's, cause it's more expensive and it's more refined. Yeah, and um, it's, there's more heritage. Yeah, and sort of. But again, there's the practicality you know, less aspect, features, you know? and yeah, and I suppose like uh, Hasselblad X1D, they can do things like be like, oh, like we're only gonna have a, t a touch screen on here, and then like you can adjust like shutter speed and aperture, but then like everything else is like is like touch screen, which is like more aesthetically pleasing than like a lot. But it's of more cumbersome buttons. to use still for me as a guy who's used to buttons and comfortable with the tactile yeah. feel of a camera. Yeah, I don't want to hunt through screens or push buttons on the back of a touchscreen. Yeah, like, yeah. If you're if you're a, a pro, but you know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I like to admire beautiful cameras, and I think uh, a nice yeah, uh, a cool small one. Hasselblad X one D with That'd a, be a cool camera small now. lens. Yeah, you got it. And you're thinking about getting that new pancake lens. You're lucky. This was a clip from the full photo footage podcast. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you every Sunday for a new podcast. Every Sunday, new podcast. Subscribe now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks.